Georgia Tech has had plenty of great quarterback play under the lights at Bobby Dodge Stadium. Now, one of those who sits at the top of the Tech record books, Reggie Ball. When he was playing, Ball had his skeptics and doubters, but to him, all it took was one person to believe in him, to keep his head up and buckle his chin strap for the next play. Our Miles Garrett has the story. September 11th, 2004. Georgia Tech travels to 20th ranked Clemson in Death Valley to face the Tigers. Under center for the Jackets was the defending ACC Freshman of the Year, Reggie Ball. I didn't care how it was going to happen. I was not losing that game. With under two minutes to play, down 10, Ball led the comeback. Ball from under center, sets, throws, Johnson's there. It is touchdown, oh! touchdown, Calvin Johnson, touchdown. son of a gun. He has absolutely lived up to the legendary billing. Tossing to then freshman phenom Calvin Johnson for the game-winning touchdown pass. I don't know the exact thoughts. I knew I cussed Calvin out pretty good that night for letting one guy guard him that, on, on that one pass deflection. And then you saw what happened later. Years later, Ball says that's one of his best moments in the white and gold. He ranks in the top three of nearly every Tech passing stat. Yet he still has dealt with fans all over the state who shared criticism even after he left the Jackets. Uh, it'll get to you. It'll get to you. If you're human, it'll get to you. If you stand too high, you stand too low. I mean, that's going to happen, which I learned. But one day after a practice in 2004, before the critics chirped and before the game-winning pass, Reggie Ball made a fan that changed his perspective on any doubt he would receive. I will play catch with him. I will catch up with him. Um, keep in con constant contact with him. But I mean, it was just a fan that wanted to say, hey, you know, I got this situation going on, but that's not going to stop me from asking one of my favorite players to play catch. Seven-year-old Carter Martin had battled Ewing sarcoma for just over a year. A huge Georgia Tech fan, Carter got the chance to play catch with his hero, inside Bobby Dodd Stadium. What he did that day with nobody else around, um, I think that speaks a lot about his character because uh, that's, that's what character is. You know, what are you doing when the lights are off? So, um, pretty special guy in our family. A few months later, the Jackets played Clemson in Death Valley. Carter, now with just days to live, watched with his family as Ball led the comeback. He fought his dad to stay up and hear the last play on the radio when we were down 13. And he was like, no, they're going to win, they're going to win, they're going to win. Carter was pretty proud of his, of his quarterback at that, at that, that night. He was, um, and you know, and he knew, he thought, he thought that was his buddy out there playing. I, I was being a Tech fan and was just about to give up, and Carter would not give up, and uh, he held in there. And uh, I just remember thinking that, um, God wanted him to see this incredible victory. And uh, we knew that the end was very near. It ended up being the next day. Um, but uh, what a special night that was. <laughs> it gives you that, that sense of gratitude, another perspective. Uh, um, it lets you know, man, everything can be over like that. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that, that kid's dream was to come out here and play catch with me. You know what I'm saying? So again, perspective and gratitude, it just highlights everything that goes along and every emotion that goes along with being just grateful. So seeing that stance that they had, I thought, okay, maybe Carter's going to be an athlete like Reggie Ball. And I thought, wow, how great would that be? But, you know, as um, that story has unfolded and the man that Reggie is and the man that he's been to our family, that is what I would have liked to see Carter model. It's not his athletic ability, but who he is as a man because that's way more important than football. Now a trainer in Atlanta, Reggie Ball is past his football days. His legacy at Georgia Tech is one that he's proud of through the highs and lows. But through it all, number one knows he had one fan that made it all worth it every Saturday on the flats. The number one stands for that. It only, ta it only, it only takes one person to believe in. And Carter was a fan of mine, and it always took just one person to believe in me to go. Carter stood out, you know what I'm saying? But again, it just takes that one fan to root for me, and I'm going crazy.